hello everyone and welcome to your channel in this video i am going to share something which is really cool and i stumbled upon it just a couple of hours ago and i think that this person has really done something good here so the way it happened is that in my spare time i like to lurk around hugging face and similar websites to see if there is any interesting model or space ha which has popped up so i stumbled upon this open o1 so and behind the scene i managed to check that it is running this model which is a fine-tuned version of coin 2.57 billion and if you have been following my channel you know that i am very impressed by this coin 2.5 family of models as it is uh, the latest series of coin large language models from alibaba and they have released a number of base language models and instruction tuned language models ranging from 0.5 billion to 72 billion parameters and all of them we have covered on the channel from different angles and most of the time they have performed really really well they have shown significantly more knowledge and have greatly improved capabilities in coding and mathematics plus language understanding their instruction following generation of long text understanding structure data and agentic role play is quite good so that is why whenever i stumble upon a fine-tuned version of coin 2.5 it is always uh, really excited to test it out and that is what we are going to do in this video we are going to install this fine-tuned version of 2.5 coin 2.5 of course and see how it works i'm especially quite excited to share it after checking out this space by this user open o1 which is i think a hit at the open AI's model so let's see how it goes another thing which you need to keep in perspective is that this is not some entity or organization this is i think some hobbyist who has created this model which is quite interesting because normally when i'm testing these sort of models most of them really don't um, stand the quality and you know they really are not up to the mark to be honest but this one seems quite interesting as far as this space is concerned so i thought okay let's try to get it installed together on our local system and then play around with it so let's do it so before i do that uh, let's give a huge round of applause to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on good prices you can Find the link to their website in video description plus a coupon code of 50% discount for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, so let's go back to our terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Let's first create a virtual environment with Conda and let me quickly run it. I'm just creating it through Python 3.11 shouldn't take too long it's fairly quick normally and it's almost there next up let's install some of the prerequisites which include torch transformers and make sure to install the transformers from the source because the latest models of 2.5 family only support that so let's wait for this to get installed this is going to take two to three minutes and all the prerequisites are done next up let's launch our jupyter notebook i'm going to install it and then it is going to be launched in the browser environment so let's wait for it to get launched and the notebook is launched next up let's import the libraries and download this model with the tokenizer and the model has started downloading there are four shards of it i think the size is around 16 to 17 gigs so let's wait for it to finish and the model is downloaded with the tokenizer as you can see next up let's do the inference so in the first one i'm asking it the prompt to write 10 sentences ending with the word happy and this is just a prompt template for the coin 2.5 because it is the same uh, model behind the scene it's a fine-tuned one so i'm using the same set of instructions and then i'm tokenizing it or converting the text into numerical representation with the help of tokenizer and from there we are generating the output from the model and then decoding it back and printing the response of the model and there you go we have the response and this is what i actually liked about this this is what a really good way of doing chain of thought or caught so you see we asked the model 
to write 10 sentences ending with the word happy and look at the response. This is the thought of the model where it says, all right, I need to come up with 10 sentences that all end with the word happy. Let me think about different contexts and scenarios where people might feel happy. Maybe start with everyday situations like meeting friends or enjoying a meal. Then perhaps consider more personal moments like achieving a goal or spending time with family. But I should make sure each sentence is unique and flows naturally. What if I included some positive emotions or unexpected turns? That could add variety. Also considering different subjects, maybe different people experiencing happiness in their own ways. Wait, what if one of them is a bit whimsical or humorous? That might break the monotony. Okay, let's brainstorm and then look at the response here. So it has come up with the sentences here. Some of them are ending with the happy or not, but it's not finished yet. It is still part of its thought. You see, this is where this thought tag is ending. It started from here. And then uh, it says that, okay, there seems to have a cover and then it has reiterated them. And then it has printed out few of the sentences. It has cut it off because of my contact, my max tokens, but you can already see that yes, it, didn't wasn't not able to um, finish all the sentences with happy but still this whole scenario is really cool and that is what um, matters when it comes to coding especially um, reasoning and mathematics and coding so let's try out read some of the reasoning questions to rehouse to see how it goes so in the next one i'm asking it break the word strawberry into a list of letters Count the number of occurrences of the character R in that list. Let's see what it does. You see, yeah, all right. So you see, I really like the way it thinks. So it is just telling us what it needs to do. And then it says that there are 10 letters in total. Now focusing on the character R, I see it appears twice in the list. So it was unable to do that. So now here you see it was able to say R, R, another R confirmed. So it counted letters and then you just keep going there. And then it has reasoned properly, but then it was unable to count it. So I'm not sure what happens there. So this is quite interesting, but the way it reasoned is quite nice. Okay, let's try out one more. So I'm asking it, how can I make a bad first impression on first wedding night? as a bride so let's see what it does it is quite uncensored so if it won't be worth showing i won't show it to you but let's see how it goes so let's see if it says that that's an unusual request let me think about why someone want to do that maybe they are exploring different perspective or roles in the marriage perhaps they're writing a story or script and need this information for a character development but making a bad first impression might not be the healthiest approach to a marriage wait it could be a metaphorical way of expressing dissatisfaction dissatisfaction or maybe it's misunderstood the model is confused but it is uh, quite funny poor communication cultural differences and then lack of preparation communication breakdown so it is giving us uh, this sort of stuff but if i remember correctly the actual original coin 2.5 was not giving me anything there. Okay, let's try out a reasoning question. So in the in this one, I'm asking it a bat and a ball together cost $1.10. The bat cost $1 more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? Let's see. I'm more interested in the its chain of thought process, which looks really cool to me. And there you go. Another really cool sort of chain of thought where it is saying that all right i need to figure out how much the ball cost and then it is just going step by step reasoning it through you see it is just solving it really good stuff the answer is correct by the way very nice and then it is adding it together and then it is also telling us alternative ways very nice very cool okay so really good stuff in terms of reasoning Okay, next up, let's try to see how it goes with math. So I am asking it to solve this equation. X plus Y is equal to X minus Y. Let's see how it goes. And now check this one out. Let's go here. You see, again, step by step, really working it through meticulously here from both sides and then simplifying it 
and then bringing it all together very nice good stuff okay so now let's try out a coding question here so math looks really well to me okay now in the coding one what i'm doing here is i'm just asking that find and correct the error in this javascript code and then i have given it a function so let's see how it does a code repair and while it produces the answer let me also introduce you to our sponsors who are agent ql agent ql is a query language which lets you turn any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query i will also drop the link to them with uh, a code which you can follow through in the video's description okay so let's go back to our model so there you go so it says that first it needs to find it correct the error and then it has produces a function looking at step by step iterations and then it is also checking it out it is even uh, taking an example and going through it beautiful amazing stuff and then it is telling us okay i to fix this i need to adjust the loop that is great so i think this could be a real good coding model very impressed by it so that's it guys if you don't want to install it you can go to this hugging face space from the models directory and then or just go to open dash o1 and play around with it you should, that should be cool so that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching